Hallelujah. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Welcome to this uh, deliverance service. Um, today we are going to address a very important spiritual matter. I recommend all of you to really uh, pay attention to anything that will be said throughout this uh, deliverance uh, ministrations. The subject of today is uh, deliverance from the implications of eating and drinking in dreams. Deliverance from the implications of eating and drinking in dreams. You know, I know that um, many uh, children of God believe that regarding eating and drinking in dreams as something negative is a doctrine of men. According to them, we should not be concerned about the implications of eating and drinking in dreams. And I, I understand you know the the point of view, and I understand uh, why uh, so many believers uh, stand on on that positions. Um, but as a minister of God, called into the ministry of deliverance, are very good reasons why. The implications of eating and drinking in dreams should not be taken lightly or ignored. Over the years, I had the opportunity to be guided by the Holy Spirit on how to deal with the evil implications of eating and drinking in dreams. And what I'm about to share with you is the combination of the revelations of the Holy Spirit and uh, real life experiences of people who were victims of evil attacks through eating and drinking in dreams. Um, first of all, bef before I begin, it is important that I make this clarification. It is important that people understand that we do not talk about the works of the devil to elevate Satan or to infuse fear in people. We are just following what the, the scripture says in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. The Bible says, lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So it's clear that when a person, when someone is ignorant of the devices of the devil, of Satan, Satan will definitely take advantage of that person and the Bible is clear here that as believer as children of God we should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil and the reason why we are talking about the works of the devil is just to make sure that people are educated that people get gain the knowledge about the devices that the kingdom of darkness is using against people. So the purpose is not to uh, put an emphasis on the devil or put an emphasis on the power of the kingdom of darkness, no, or to infuse fear in people's now. The purpose is just to make sure that people understand what the devil 
is using against them so that they can better prepare themselves or better resist or overcome the attacks of the enemy. It is unusual to defeat an enemy when you are ignorant of his schemes. Ignorance about the realities of the spirit realm is actually one of the major cause of the destruction of humans. Even the Bible says in the book of Hosea that my people perish because of the lack of knowledge. So the lack of knowledge is the major reason why people perish. Because when people lack knowledge about the things of the spirit realm, it will be easy for the kingdom of darkness to defeat such people or to take advantage of them. And also, uh, no one can go to a war without studying the enemy. Even when we look at the area of sport, one thing that you will always notice in the sport area is that no team goes to play a game without taking the time to study the opposite team. Why are they doing it? It's not to emphasize on the strength of the opposite team, but it's to make sure that they put in place a strategy or a tactic that will help them overcome or defeat the opposite team. So this is the reason why we talk about the works of the devil. So let's go back to the subject of today, which is the deliverance from the implications of eating and drinking in dreams. Number one, it is very important to understand that dreams are the spiritual monitors of your spiritual life. Dream tell you what is going on in your spiritual life. So based on the types of dream that you have, you can have an idea about what is going on in your spiritual life. And anyone who neglects his dreams will always be a victim of evil attacks through dreams. Uh, most Christians are defeated by the devil because of the lack of knowledge concerning the ways the kingdom of darkness operates against mankind. You need to know that food and drink are two elements indispensable to the physical body. And everything that we eat and drink affect our body in one way or another. And the easiest way to cure or poison a body is to make that body consumes or drink something. So it is very important to understand that the same principle applied to our spirit or to our spiritual life. So anything that happens even in dreams also in a way or another can affect our life, our spirit. It is very important to understand that eating and drinking in dreams come 
from three sources. So anytime you, you find yourself or you see yourself eating or drinking in dreams, they come from three sources. The first one is from God. Yes, the reason someone can see himself eating and drinking in dreams can come from God. Because God can make you eat or drink things in dreams or visions to impart or deposit something divine in your life. And we can see that in the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16. So in Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16, the Bible says, Your words were found and I ate them. And your, your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by your name. O Lord of hosts. So you can see here in the book of Jeremiah chapter 15 that Jeremiah is talking about eating the word of God. And we know that physically you cannot eat the word because the word is something that is abstract. You know, it's something that you can't touch. But if Jeremiah is saying that he found the words of God and that he ate them he is talking about something that took place in the spirit realm so it was probably during a vision open or closed visions or during a dream so it's clear that even God can make you eat or drink in dreams but to impart or to deposit something divine in your life. Also in the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 from verse 1 to 3. Ezekiel chapter 3 from verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, Moreover, he said to me, Son of man, eat what you find. Eat this scroll and go and speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that scroll. Verse 3, And he said to me, Son of man, feed your belly and fill your stomach with this scroll that I give you. So I ate and he was in my mouth like honey in sweetness. So you can see what happened here with prophet Ezekiel in chapter 3. So God presented to him a scroll. And God said to prophet Ezekiel to eat that scroll. And when he ate it, he felt the taste of that scroll in his, in his mouth. And he says that it was in his mouth like honey in sweetness. So you can see here that God in a vision made prophet Ezekiel eat something that tasted like honey and sweetness. And another example of God causing people to eat and drink in dreams or in visions is Revelation chapter 10. In the book of Revelation chapter 10 verse 9 through 10 the Bible says So I went to the angel and said to him Give me the little book. And he said to me Take and eat it and it will make your stomach bitter. But it will be as sweet as honey in your mouth. Then I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it. And it was as sweet as honey in my mouth. But when I had eaten it, my stomach became bitter. 
you see here in the book of Revelations, God causing his servant to eat a book. And, and as he's eating it, he felt that he was sweet as honey. So the first source of eating and drinking in dreams is from God. The second source of eating and drinking in dreams is from the multitudes of business or thoughts. Many times when people eat and drink in dreams, it's also because of the multitudes of business or thought. You can dream about eating or drinking something that you crave during the day. Or you can dream about eating or drinking something that you were craving during weeks. So it's possible. You can go to bed hungry and dream that you are eating. There are a lot of people who go to bed hungry and they find themselves eating. So it's also uh, one of the cause of seeing yourself eating and drinking in dreams. So the multitude of business can cause you to eat and drink in the dreams. Now the third source of eating and drinking in dreams is from the devil. So eating and drinking in dreams can come also from the devil as a form of spiritual attacks. And let me tell you that more than 90% of time eating and drinking in dreams come from the devil. And this is one thing that people of God should understand that more than 90% of time eating and drinking in dreams come from the devil as form of spiritual attack. For the kingdom of darkness, eating and drinking in dreams is also an easy way to spiritually contaminate destroy, bind, enslave, capture, deteriorate, alter the spirit, soul, and body of people. So that is one of the easiest way for the kingdom of darkness, for the devil, for demons, for satanic agent to have a grip over the life of humans. The devil knows that when people are sleeping, they are more vulnerable and easily accessible. And this is why when your inner man is weak, all the spiritual gates of your life will be open and propitious for evil spirits who want to operate in your life. Now you need to understand that there are severe consequences when you eat and drink in dreams as a result of satanic attack. Number one, when you eat and drink in dreams, you are communion with the one who feeds you. Or the one who is giving you the food. Or offering you the food. Many are communing with evil spirit and satanic entities when they eat and drink in dreams. The nature of this evil spirit is transferred into the life of those people through that communion. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 21, You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake 
of the tables of the Lord and of the table of demons. So it's clear in the Bible. If the Bible talk about drinking the cup of the Lord and drinking the cup of demons, eating at the table of the Lord and eating at the table of demons, it means that the same way the Lord is feeding us, demons also feed human beings. The same way that God is giving drinks to humans spiritually, demons also are giving drinks to humans spiritually. So this is why the Bible is clear that we cannot drink of the cup of the devil, the cup of demons, and we should not eat at the table of demons. Number two, eating and drinking in dreams, it's also a form of fellowship with the person or the spirit or the entity which is feeding you or offering you the food or the drink. Eating and drinking in dreams is also a means of initiation into witchcraft or satanism. Many are initiated into witchcraft and satanism after eating and drinking in dreams. And most of the time, what they see themselves eating in dreams are not what they are really eating. Sometimes they can see themselves eating maybe chicken, but in reality, they are eating human flesh. Sometimes they can see themselves drinking uh, juice. In reality, they are not drinking juice or alcohol. They are drinking the blood. They are drinking human blood. So eating and drinking in dreams, it's also a means of initiation into witchcraft or satanism. Eating and drinking in dreams is a means of bewitchment. Easiest way to bewitch people is by making them eat or drink something. Eating and drinking in dreams is also a means to entice people into sin, into immorality. There are so many people who went to bed and when they woke up the next day, they started having some urge to do certain things, to do certain immoral things, to do some uh, some evil things. Some started having the urge to to consume uh, alcohol, to drink alcohol, or to take drugs, and 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 that was just because when they were eating and drinking in dreams, they were enticed into addictions or into a sin. So it's very is very usual to see people being enticed into sin after eating and drinking in dreams. You know, eating and drinking in dreams is also a means of defiling the spirit, the soul, and the body of people. You know, the kingdom of darkness, they know that God would always reject anything that is defiled anything that is not that is unclean so this is why they will make sure that they defile the body the soul and the spirit of people by making them eat and drink things that are forbidden by god in dreams and the kingdom of darkness they, they, they know that by defiling you that way you know god will be obligated to reject you until you purify or sanctify yourself. So drinking and eating in dreams is a means to defile the body, the soul, and the spirit of people. Eating and drinking in dreams is also a means of establishing strongholds in the life of people. Eating and drinking in dreams is a means of caging and binding people into addictions. Eating and drinking in dreams is also a means of sowing 
evils in peoples, wickedness, lies, pride, perversion, anger, violence, fear, arrogance, and so more. There are so many things like, like this that are actually sown into the life of people while they are eating and drinking in dreams. So what they eat or drink in dreams is actually the seed that they are receiving into the spiritual system that will develop into 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 urge to commit uh, certain sins. Eating and drinking in dreams is also a means of poisoning the spirit, the body, and the soul. Eating and drinking in dreams is a means of killing people spiritually and physically. I know people who die physically because they were poisoned in dreams. I know also people who die spiritually because they were poisoned through eating and drinking in dreams. So eating and drinking in dreams is also a means of attacking people health by causing sickness or damaging organs or body parts. I have so many, so many, so many uh, uh, cases uh, that I know personally of people who eat uh, or, or drink in dreams and they find themselves the next morning sick because uh of what they ate and drank in dreams. So eating and drinking in dreams is also a means to implant demonic point of contact into peoples so that the kingdom of darkness can use this uh, demonic uh, point of contact to control these people from distance. So when the kingdom of darkness wants to control you from distance, they will make you eat and drink in dreams so that uh, what you are eating or drinking is actually something that they are implanting or something that they are planting in you to be used as point of contact to control you or to manipulate you from distance. Eating and drinking in dreams is also a means to quench the fire of God in people. There are so many people who who saw the zeal be quenched, you know, uh, after you know dreaming of eating and, and drinking. Uh, eating and drinking in dreams is also a means to manipulate and control the mood and the temper of people. Uh, eating and drinking in dreams is also a means to mock people so that they can be easily identified by satanic agent or evil agents. You know, uh, uh, sometime when you are, uh, you, you, you are fought by, by satanic agents in a certain, uh, location, when you leave that location or when you leave that area and you go somewhere else, you know, uh, what they will do in the kingdom of darkness, they will make you eat or drink something. And whatever they make you eat and drink will be a mark on you. So that wherever you go to, you will be identified by other satanic agents. Let's say maybe you are living in China and in China, you are oppressed and fought by some satanic agent there. And now you decide to go live in, um, in France. So when you leave China and you move to France, when you arrive in France, what they will do, they will make you, uh, the, 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 the satanic agent who are fighting you in China will make you eat or drink in dreams so that they will put a mark on you so that when you get to France, any satanic agent in France will be able to identify you and know the people who are fighting you and they will be able to continue the oppression that the satanic agent in China were actually doing against you. You know, I have nothing against China or France, so I'm just... It's just two countries that came out of my mind. You know, I just took them 
as uh, as examples but i have nothing against um uh, these two countries so um eating and drinking in dreams also it's also a means to sacrifice people's life on evil altars and and i have instances of people who uh who ate and who ate or, or who actually uh drank in in dreams and they were actually being sacrificed uh spiritually uh eating and drinking in dreams is also a means of gauging the glories uh stars and talents of people you know uh so many people out there are very talented they have um Uh, stars but uh just by making them eat and drink in in dreams the kingdom of darkness is able to steal from them the talents the glories and uh, the stars of those people so that those people will not uh prosper in their life and they will be miserable although they are very very talented and blessed is it normal for someone who doesn't drink alcohol to dream that he is drinking alcohol there are some people who have never tested or desire alcohol yet they see themselves drinking it in dreams so that that is something that should not be considered as normal it's not normal that you find yourself in dreams doing drugs when you know you have never done it before in the physical or naturally i remember i remember uh um there was a lady um she 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 swallowed a living insect when she was dreaming and when she woke up in the morning her breast was swollen and very painful and she came for prayer and after praying for her she she started vomiting and she vomited for a, an extended period of time that day and the 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 things just uh wouldn't stop so for those who still believe that there is no evil implication of eating and drinking in dreams how can you explain this case someone who dream that she swallow an insect a fly and when she woke up in the morning she noticed that her breast was swollen and very painful and when we pray for her for the thing that she swallowed to come out she started vomiting for more than 30 minutes and after that the pain disappeared so the pain she had in her breast was actually implanted in her through that fly that she swallowed in the dream that she ate in the dream There was a young man who also dreamed that he was being sentenced to death by family members in the court. And in the dream he was given a substance to drink so that he would die as the sentence. And when he was about to drink that substance his mother slapped the cup from his hands but few drops of the content of that cup entered his mouth and the guy woke up when the guy woke up 
in the morning he felt very weak and then he passed out he was taken to the hospital and at the hospital they found out he didn't have enough blood in his system to survive he didn't have any wound or nothing but the blood was clear out of his, out of his system there was no medical explanation of what happened to him he was emptied of his blood just by what the drops of the content of that cup that entered his mouth during the dream but by the grace of god after prayers and everything his health was restored and he even had to also uh, receive blood transfusion because his body was emptied of blood i also pray for for a lady who suddenly became very sick and as I, as i was uh, praying for her the holy spirit gave me a prayer point to say over her and i immediately uh, said it uh, I, i think it was um let the poison from marine spirit come out of you and after saying that prayer point she immediately started throwing up if and when she was throwing up a very black substance was coming out of her and the lady was very surprised because she uh, she didn't eat anything of that color that day or the previous week so she was surprised to throw up something that was so thick so so dark coming coming out of her mouth she couldn't believe it what happened she drank that spiritually who gave it to her marine spirit and this is what the holy spirit told me command the substance the poison that she drank from the marine spirit to come out of her and she will be delivered there was uh, uh the, the, there's a lady who said um every time she's pregnant she will dream that she's drinking paint she's drinking paint every time she's pregnant she has she, she has more than i think she has uh, she has more than uh, three children now for each pregnancy any time she's pregnant she will dream that she's drinking pain so what we used to pen home houses that is what she's she's drinking in dreams and her pregnancies are always very painful and burdensome as a result of that any time she is pregnant she just go through a hard time throughout the pregnancy so what can you expect when you drink paint in dream constantly what can you expect and 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 and, and what is and what is so sad or unfortunate is that um that uh, that lady doesn't believe in witchcraft so she, she doesn't even believe that witchcraft exists so so you see how people are taken advantage of by the kingdom of darkness because they are ignorant of the schemes or the devices of satan so many people Uh, after eating and drinking in dreams were initiated into witchcraft because they ate and drink 
in dreams things that were sacrificed to idols or Satan. When you eat in dreams things that are sacrificed to idol and Satan, you are being initiated. You are being initiated in witchcraft. Whether you like it or not, you are unconsciously a wizard or a witch. So there are many people who are unconsciously witches and wizards because of what took place when they were dreaming, because of what they ate or what they drank when they were dreaming, or because of what activities is taking place in the dream when they are asleep. So it's very important not to 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 take it uh, lightly. Um, there are some people after seeing themselves drinking and or eating in dreams, they started craving for for blood to drink. You imagine someone who after dreaming that he drank something, he started craving for blood to drink. It's unusual. But what happened is what he drank in the dream that manifested into his life physically so that now physically the person is urging or is, is thirsty for blood there are people who uh, anytime they have something very important to do they will dream that they are eating or drinking and whatever they were supposed to do would always fail. Whether it's, it's, the, it's the job interview, if, if it's a job interview, they will not be called back. If it's an exam or a test, they will fail. If it's an appointment, they will miss. If it's a game, they will lose. If it's an opportunity, you know, something will happen and, and they will miss the opportunity. Why? What they eat or drink in dreams was actually a spiritual attack that has as purpose to prevent them from being successful in whatever they wanted to do the next day. So this is why you should be very concerned about the type of dream that you have at the eve of some very important event of your life. There are people who uh, eat and drink in dreams to the extent that they are not even hungry or thirsty throughout the day. Yes, th these are things that are real. People who who are not thirsty or hung, hung, hungry throughout the day simply because in the dream they eat and they drink. All night they were eating and drinking. So when they wake up in the morning, their stomach is full to the point that they will spend the whole day without, you know, being hung hungry or thirsty for anything. Many people became sick after eating and drinking in dreams. That is something that I see constantly. I pray constantly for people who became sick as a result of eating or drinking in dreams. If such people keep eating and drinking in dreams, they will remain sick until they address the issue. If the reason why you are sick is because of what you eat and drink in dreams, to become healed or to be free from that sickness, you need to address whatever is making you or causing you to eat and drink in dreams if you don't address it you will never be healed or free from such sickness there are some people who are very prayerful but after eating and drinking in dreams they became prayerless there are some people who have a hard time to fast because they often f find themselves eating and drinking in dreams. 
Do you know that uh, the devil can make you eat and drink in dreams to strengthen your flesh against your human spirit? That is what is happening also. Sometimes the devil will make you drink and eat things to strengthen your flesh so that your flesh will be stronger against your human spirit because you are a spirit in the body. I know someone anytime he will fast, he will he will he will do a dry fast. If he just slumber for for a while or if he just take a small nap, he will find himself eating and drinking. He will always find himself eating and drinking when he's fasting. And when he woke up after eating and drinking, when he's fasting, he's doing dry fast, he will feel like he's full in the stomach. And that was the manipulation of the devil. Because the guy is fasting, but the devil is feeding him. What is going to happen? What is going to happen? He's going to feel strong, thinking that his spirit is strong, but in reality, his spirit is not strong, but his flesh is being strengthened by what the devil is feeding him with. And that is a manipulation of the devil to maintain the spirit of that person weaker and weaker and to strengthen the flesh of that person. A such person after fasting for a while or after breaking the fast they will find themselves more carnal and they will ask themselves how come I just finish a fast a long fast and it seems like I'm, I, I became more carnally minded it's simply because when he was fasting he was manipulated by the kingdom of darkness. His flesh was strengthened by the devil who was feeding him in dreams. And his human spirit was maintained weak, weak, and weaker. So there are so many uh, uh, instances or cases of people who ate and drank in dreams as a result of satanic or spiritual attack. But I will stop now because the, the most important was just to, um, to give you an understanding of what I'm talking about when I mentioned the implications of eating and drinking in dreams so how to deal with this spiritual attack of eating and drinking in dreams there are eight things that you should do if you want to effectively and properly deal once for all with this attack of eating and drinking in dreams Number one, you must give your life to Jesus. You must surrender your life to Jesus. You must become born again. Because the Bible is clear that Jesus Christ is the deliverer. Jesus Christ is the deliverer. If you don't surrender your life to the deliverer, who is going to deliver you? The Bible says in the book of John chapter 8, verse 36 therefore if the son makes you free you shall be free indeed so the bible is clear if jesus the son of god makes you free you shall be free indeed so if you are not born again if you don't surrender your life to jesus how come jesus is going to deliver you and even if Jesus delivers you, you need to know that that deliverance will be temporary. 
because you cannot maintain a deliverance coming from God if you have not surrendered your life to Christ. The only way for you to maintain anything that comes from God is first of all by surrendering your life to God. If you don't surrender your life to God, it's going to be impossible to maintain anything. So the first step, the first thing to do if you want to deal with that attack of eating and drinking in dreams as a result of spiritual attack, you must give your life to Christ. You must become a child of God. You must surrender your life to Christ. Number two, you must acknowledge the fact that drinking and eating in dreams can be demonic like i say in the beginning of this of this ministration that so many children of god do not believe that eating and drinking in dreams can be demonic i know that eating and drinking in dreams is not always demonic but when you believe that eating and drinking in dreams cannot be demonic it's impossible for you to be delivered from that attack as a matter of fact the devil is the one making you have that belief in you so that he can continue to take advantage of you so number two make sure that you acknowledge in your heart that you acknowledge the fact that eating and drinking in dreams can be can be demonic number three you must hate it you must hate the fact that you eat and drink in dreams because there are some people who enjoy eating and drinking in dreams you might find it uh, uh strange but i am a minister of, of god i'm a minister of deliverance i come across different cases of people who need deliverance so i know what i'm talking about there are people who enjoy eating and drinking in dreams so if you don't hate the fact that you eat and drink in dreams i don't think you're gonna be delivered from it because god would not deliver you from something that you enjoy no no even if you are addicted or enticed into a sin as long as you enjoy it god cannot deliver you from it God will only deliver you from something that you hate to do. But if you enjoy to do something, God will not even bother to come and address that thing in your life. He will not even bother. But God can deliver you from something that you hate but do if you sincerely want to stop it. Because there are people who are addicted to to certain things there are people who do such certain evil things certain immoral things because they are oppressed they are controlled they are overpowered by forces of darkness so such people don't enjoy what they are doing they need help so such people god can deliver them but if you are addicted to something and you're still enjoying it god will not deliver you from it so number three make sure that you hate the fact that you eat and drink in dreams number four renounce and reject anything giving way to eating and drinking in your dreams you need to renounce whether it's naturally or spiritually you need to renounce anything renounce and reject anything giving way to to eating and drinking in dreams number five it is not recommended to eat late at night nor go straight to sleep after eating late at night it is not recommended i'm not saying that it is it is it is bad i'm not saying that you should not do it at all but i'm saying that it is not recommended because most of the time the people who eat constantly late at night or the people who go straight to bed late after eating late at night most of the time those people are easily fed by demons 
in dreams or easily accessible by demons or satanic agent. Number six, you must strengthen your inner man daily. You must strengthen your inner man daily. When your inner man is weak, your dreams will be easily accessible to demons and satanic agents. You strengthen your inner man through spiritual exercises, which is uh, which are uh, prayer, fasting, worship, adoration, meditation of the word, and so on. So, strengthening your inner man daily, it is very important because if you don't do it, it's going to be easy for the kingdom of darkness to come and feed you at night. Number seven, always pray before sleeping or napping. Anytime you want to sleep, you want to take a nap, don't don't just say that, you know, I'm just taking a nap. It's okay, I don't need to pray, no. Anytime you want to sleep, anytime you want to take a nap, you know, always pray. You know, I'm not asking you to do an hour prayer, but always pray. Always pray. We don't pray because we fear. We don't pray because we are powerless. We pray because it's a lifestyle. We pray because we are preventive. Because prayer is also a way to prevent things from happening to you. So the same way that before you eat, you should always pray. You should always pray. You can, if you're a child of God, you can eat without praying. You must always eat. You must always pray before you eat. So it's the same thing. Before you take a nap, before you sleep, you know, always make sure that you pray. So never number seven, always pray before you sleep. And number eight, when you wake up and you realize that you ate or drink in the dream, before eating or drinking anything that day, make sure that you say some self-deliverance prayers to reverse the agenda of the enemy behind it or to cancel the attack on your life. Because if you wake up, you realize that you ate and drank in the dreams before you take anything that day. If you don't feel inside of you that it was from God, make sure that you pray deliverance prayers to reverse that agenda behind it. Because the devil will never make you eat and drink in dreams for no for nothing. There's always a bigger agenda behind it. Hallelujah. So we're gonna pray now. We're gonna we're gonna pray now because this is a deliverance ministration. This is a deliverance service. So now that you have a knowledge about the evil implication of eating and drinking in dreams, we are going to go to the deliverance section now. But before we engage into this deliverance sections. If you are listening to me right now and you are not born again yet, it is very important for you that you surrender your life to Christ. Because if you don't surrender your life to Christ, everything that we are doing here, you will not benefit from it. And even if you do benefit from it, it will be temporary. But if you surrender your life to Christ, everything that we will do right now, you will benefit from it. And it will not be temporarily, but it will be uh, forever. So if you are not born again yet, I want you to uh, repeat uh, this word after me. Say, Lord, I recognize that I am a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ, your son, died on the cross for the redemption of my soul and the remission of my sin. 
forgive me for all my sins. I accept Jesus Christ into my life as my Lord and Savior. Take control over my life from now on and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. So I will pray for you. Uh, Father, I pray that all those who just surrender their life to you, that you may give them the grace to love you, seek you, serve you, and remain faithful to you from now on till the day you will return to take them back home with you in heaven. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we are going to engage in deliverance. The anointing of God is available. The anointing of deliverance is working right now. The anointing of deliverance is at work right now. So wherever you are, I want you to believe strongly in your heart and whatever you believe shall come to pass as a result of this moment of deliverance. So I want you to pray like never before. I want you to pray with all your strength, all your heart, all your soul. Lift up your, your voice and ask God for mercy. Lift up your voice, ask God for mercy. If you are listening to me right now, wherever you are, ask the Lord to forgive your sin. Father, I pray for mercy. I pray for mercy over the lives of all those who are um, listening to me right now, wherever they are. Father, forgive the sins in the name of Jesus. Forgive the transgressions, the iniquities in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on them. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So you will repeat this prayer point after me. Say, I renounce and reject anything given way to eating and drinking in my dreams. In the name of Jesus, I renounce and reject anything given way to eating and drinking in my dreams. In the name of Jesus, I renounce and reject anything given way to eating and drinking in my dreams. In the name of Jesus, I renounce and reject anything given way to eating and drinking in my dreams. In the name of Jesus, I reject and renounce anything given way to eating and drinking in my dreams. In the name of Jesus, I renounce and reject anything given way to eating and drinking in my dreams. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I renounce and break by the blood of Jesus any covenant with spirits feeding me in dreams in the name of Jesus I renounce and break by the blood of Jesus any covenant with spirit feeding me in dreams in the name of Jesus I renounce and break by the blood of Jesus any covenant with spirit feeding me in dreams in the name of Jesus I renounce and break by the blood of Jesus any covenant with spirit feeding me in dreams in the name of Jesus I renounce and break by the blood of Jesus any covenant with evil spirit feeding me in dreams in the name of Jesus I renounce and break by the blood of Jesus any evil covenant with spirit 
feeding me in dreams in the name of Jesus. I renounce and break. 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 All these covenants by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blood of Jesus, purge out my spirit, soul, and body from satanic deposits in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, purge out my spirit, soul, and body from satanic deposit in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, purge out my spirit, soul, and body from satanic deposit in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, purge out my spirit, soul and body from satanic deposits in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, purge out my spirit, soul and body from satanic deposit in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, purge out my spirit, soul and body from satanic deposit in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, Purge out my spirit, soul, and body from satanic deposit in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, purge out my spirit, soul, and body from satanic deposit in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, purge out my spirit, soul, and body from satanic deposit in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Powers of the night visiting me in my dreams. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night visiting me in my dream. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night visiting me in my dream. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night visiting me in my dreams. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night visiting me in my dreams. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night visiting me in my dreams. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night visiting me in my dreams. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Amen. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I break any covenant with family idol in Jesus name by the power and the blood of Jesus I break any covenant with family idols in the name of Jesus by the power and the blood of Jesus I break every covenant with family idol in the name of Jesus by the power and the blood of Jesus I break any covenant with family idol in the name of Jesus by the power of the blood of Jesus I break any covenant with my family idol in the name of Jesus I break I break, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ we pray, Amen. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I cancel any evil dedication of my life in the name of Jesus. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I cancel any evil dedication of my life in the name of Jesus. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I cancel any evil dedication of my life in the name of Jesus. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I cancel any evil dedication in my life in the name of Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus, I cancel any evil dedication of my life in Jesus name we pray amen any spirit that invaded my life as a result of eating and drinking in dreams expire by fire in the name of Jesus any spirit that invaded my life as a result of eating and drinking in dreams expire by fire in the name of Jesus, expire by fire, expire by fire, expire by fire, expire by fire. In the name of Jesus, any spirit that invaded my life as a result of eating and drinking in dreams, expire by fire. In the name of Jesus, any spirit that invaded my life as a result of eating and drinking in dreams, expire by fire, expire by fire, expire by fire, expire by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My destiny 
break out from any satanic captivity of the night in the name of Jesus my destiny break out from any satanic captivity of the night in the name of Jesus my destiny break out from any satanic captivity of the night in the name of Jesus my destiny break out from any satanic captivity of the night in the name of Jesus my destiny break out from any satanic captivity of the night in the name of Jesus my destiny break out from any satanic captivity of the night in Jesus name we pray amen by the power of the blood of Jesus I reverse any satanic exchange that happen when I sleep in the name of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus I reverse any satanic exchange that happen when I sleep in the name of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus I reverse any satanic exchange that happen when I sleep in the name of Jesus by the power of the blood of Jesus I reverse any satanic exchange that happen when I sleep in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth amen evil hands feeding me in dreams be cut off in the name of Jesus evil hands feeding me in dreams be cut off in the name of Jesus evil hands feeding me in dreams be cut off in the name of Jesus evil hands feeding me in dream be cut off in the name of Jesus evil hands feeding me in dreams be cut off in the name of Jesus be cut off in the name of Jesus be cut off in the name of Jesus be cut off in Jesus mighty name amen now you will shout this prayer louder say my body vomit out the poisons of the night in the name of Jesus my body vomit out the poison of the night in the name of Jesus my body vomit out the poison of the night in the name of Jesus my body vomit out the poison of the night in the name of Jesus my body vomit out the poison of the night in the name of Jesus my body vomit out the poison of the night in the name of Jesus vomit out 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 in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah now i will pray for you just stay calm and just listen as i pray for you just keep quiet as i will start praying for you you will start feeling things in your physical body some of you things will start coming out of you don't be afraid don't be scared it's just the power of the holy spirit that will start removing out of you the things that were deposited in you through eating and drinking in dreams in the mighty name of Jesus Christ anyone listening to the sound of my voice who ate or drank at night who ate from the table of demons Kadima usaka telebroskata who drank from the cup of demons idazi ikapari askante debosa makarabas kontorobosa mandele broskata rabashken toroboshi katabaria izokoto pasa i command whatever you eat or drink to come out of you in the name of jesus come out in the name of jesus come out in the name of jesus Come out in the name of Jesus. 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 You they take you, they took you into the water to feed you. As I'm speaking right now, idazu ikaparias kante de bosa. Whatever they fed you with in the water is 
coming out of you in the name of Jesus. It's coming out in the name of Jesus. It is coming out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it's coming out. Coming out. Coming out. I command your body to vomit it out. To vomit it out. Every satanic deposit. Anything that you ate. Anything that you drink at night. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in Jesus mighty name. We pray it. Amen. Hallelujah. Say this prayer after me. Demonic food appetite. Demonic food appetite. Die in the name of Jesus. Demonic, demonic food appetite. Die in the name of Jesus. Demonic food appetite. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Demonic food appetite. Die in the name of Jesus. Demonic food appetite. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Demonic food appetite. Die in the name of Jesus. Anyone listening to the sound of my voice who has demonic food appetite, I Commend that demonic food appetite in your life to die in the name of Jesus. 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 To die in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. Say this last prayer. Powers feeding me in dreams. Powers feeding me in dreams. Expire by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers feeding me in dreams. Expire by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers feeding me in dreams. Expire by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers feeding me in dreams. Expire by fire in the name of Jesus. Expire by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Any powers feeding you, feed, feeding you in dreams at night. I command them to expire now in the name of Jesus. I command them to expire now in the name of Jesus. Expire, 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 expire. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Now I will pray for you. Just keep silent. I will pray for you. Anyone listening to the sound of my voice, Alama Isukata, whatever they have planted in you, whatever they have planted in you, through eating and drinking in dreams, whatever they have planted in you, Padazi ikama kutasi ikatabra akuntosa, the power of the Holy Spirit, uprooted in the name of Jesus, uproot in the name of Jesus, uproot in the name of Jesus, uproot it 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 in Jesus' mighty name. Idazi ikapali askante. Liduzi ikapali askante. Bosa katele be iyo kotasika. Mandele ikoro braska. That bewitchment over your life. That bewitchment over your life. Through what you ate and drank in dreams. I break it in the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus. Be loose from that bewitchment in the name of Jesus. Be loose in the name of Jesus. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has been put into a spiritual cage as a result of eating and drinking in dreams, as I'm speaking right now, your human spirit is coming out of that cage in the name of Jesus. You are coming out of that cage in the name of Jesus. You are coming out of that cage in the name of Jesus. You are 
coming out in the name of Jesus. You are coming out. 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 You are coming out in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone listening to me, you have a bad smell in your mouth since you ate and drank in the dreams. You have a bad smell in your mouth since you ate and drank in dreams. As I'm speaking right now, Iduza ikaparias akataya, Rabuzi ikatala bra ikata. That seed, that seed of bad smell in your mouth, it's coming out in the name of Jesus. It's coming out in the name of Jesus. It's coming out in the name of Jesus. That seed of bad smell in your mouth is coming out in the name of Jesus. It's coming out. 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 It's coming out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Matosi kin toro braskin terebo shakarabasun toro bo si kan terebro skin tarabasa rikun toro bo shin terebo san teriaska. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this moment of deliverance. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let your deliverance be permanent in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Holy Ghost strengthen your inner man in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the doors, the doors that gave way to eating and drinking in dreams in your life be shut down permanently in the name of Jesus. I close those doors permanently in the name of Jesus. I close them permanently in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood of Jesus, the, those doors are closed permanently in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that whatever you receive, during this ministration of deliverance from the Lord, let it be secure forever by the power of the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. I decree and I declare that it shall remain permanent in your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have been blessed by this ministration of deliverance, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to click the ring belt of notifications so that anytime we post a new video, you may receive a notification. It was your friend and brother Bruno Madala. Go in peace. The Lord has blessed you. Shalom.